Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. We're taking a look at another one of these, uh, the Club canned beverages tonight. Um, this is the Club Margarita, made with tequila, triple sec, natural flavors, and certified color. Wow, apparently it's not an artificial color, it's a certified color. Uh, it says here the tequila is in it and other fine spirits. So apparently there's other booze in here besides just tequila. Well, triple sec, they said it right there. Um, enjoy these excellent tasting drinks in a variety of popular flavors. Simply chill or pour over ice, party responsibly. Now we've done one of these before, the, um, the Club Long Island Iced Tea. Actually, it was just earlier this evening. I don't know why I had to think so hard about it. It wasn't that potent. And speaking of that, um, this is a, it says 19.9 proof, 9.9% ABV. Uh, little trick, folks, if, for those of you who don't know, which is, you know, some people, uh, take the proof, divide it by two, and there's your alcohol by volume. Alcohol by volume, for me, is a better measurement of how potent this stuff is versus proof. Yeah, it's a simple math equation. But if, if I put it in terms of ABV, I can kind of guess how it's going to affect me. Uh, anyway, I always just instinctively take, you know, 30 proof, 15 ABV, 60 proof, 30 ABV. It's just, it, I don't know. I think it's a good habit to get into. Um, and I was actually wondering about this after the other, the last time I did one of these. Um, these little itty bitty cans actually have a deposit on it. And in the states of Vermont and Maine, it's 15 cents. So because there's liquor in here, they put a 15 cent deposit on it, like they do with liquor bottles. So make sure that your local redemption place knows that. Ooh, pardon. I also notice they say here, refrigerate after opening. There's 200 milliliters. Is there really? Oh, hey. Hawaii, five cents. Michigan, 10 cents in Iowa, five cents. Anyway, so there's a variety of deposit options on this, but hey, make sure you're getting your deposit money back. Um, but yeah, refrigerate after opening. This is, is anybody really drinking this in more than one sitting? I don't know. That's not that. Let's find out what it tastes like. Now, that's the funny thing. It actually pops like that, but I, from, from the Long Island iced tea. Yeah, there's no actual carbonation in this that I can see. Those bubbles are probably just from agitating the fluid as I'm pouring it out. Um, so it's like some juices and stuff. There's probably a little bit of a pop. Maybe they vacuum seal it when they pack it, or maybe there is some gas in there that's slightly under pressure, but there's no carbonation in the beverage itself. So, it certainly looks like a margarita. It's got a nice lime green, pale, slightly cloudy color to it. Under the bright light though, it almost fades to a, a perfect white um, in places, but it's definitely got a greenish lime green, slightly yellow, on the yellow end tint to it. Um, I can't smell the booze in this like I could with the uh, the Long Island iced tea. Which again, Long Island iced tea is supposed to be mostly booze with a little bit of cola for color. So, margarita is more for people who don't want to taste the booze. Like my mom. You make a perfect margarita, you can't taste the tequila in it. That's basically her her yardstick, which is why she likes the one at Apple, the ones at Applebee's really well. Anyway, we're not talking about my mom. We're talking about this stuff. Not really getting any aroma at all off of it. Not just no booze, but no no distinct aromas of anything at all. Maybe a maybe a hint of citrus. Just a hint, a slight whiff of tequila now that I really get down in it. Okay, I'm definitely getting the hint of tequila. Hmm. I wonder if they put salt in this. I 
and other fine spirits. Natural flavors and certified color. I'm getting the salt. So I'm getting a salt, lime, tequila. It tastes like a damn margarita. That's for sure. Um, it, it's a margarita in a can. That's, it's good. It's good. If you like margaritas, you'll like these. Um, same thing I had to say about the Long Island iced tea. It's, it's a beverage in a can, and it is exactly what you would expect based on the label. Um, the price point for me is a little disappointing. This is five bucks for this little itty bitty can. Granted, you're probably going to pay at least that same five bucks at a bar or a club or a restaurant, even Crapplebee's. You know, you're probably paying eight to ten bucks for their margarita, but you're getting, I think, at least two of these out of that one because, you know, they take the shaker and they leave it at the table for you so you can pour the rest of it out. So anyway, price point, um, you're not going to save any money buying these at home versus going to the club unless you're going to a really expensive club. In which case, you know, you can't help but notice that these are small enough that, <clears throat> you know, people could probably slide them in their pockets. Not that I'm condoning that behavior. Once again, I've got to say, you know, I think it's a bad idea to do that because if you get caught, you're in trouble. Probably kicked out, maybe banned for life. And I don't want anybody to think I gave you that idea, but, you know, I'm just saying. You could probably fit a couple of these in your pockets or in a purse if you're a woman. You know? Or if you're a guy who carries a purse, whatever. Uh, it's not bad. It ain't blowing my mind, but, you know, it is exactly what you expect. It is a margarita in a can. So, that's all I can think of to say about it. Love to hear what you think about the Club Margarita. Hit me up down in the comments or the email link down there. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you picking up on some flavor or something that I'm not finding? Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I might be drinking these too fast. I'm actually losing my train of thought. That's um, That's something. That's something. Although, granted, um, I did the Long Island iced tea and this margarita probably in a within 15 minutes of each other. So, that's something too. <clears throat> and even at such a small volume, you know, 15% ABV and 10% ABV, it's going to hit me. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get a notification whenever I post a new video. Until next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.